Hey guys, out there everyone, it's Todd out here in Denver, Colorado. Today we're talking about the biggest time waster of all, and that is the telephone. I run into clients all the time that are always so busy. They are these crackberry on their phone all the time type of people, and sometimes they never get anything done, and then they complain to me about not getting anything done. So I want to do a video once and for all on how to control the telephone. I got a few rules for you. Number one rule, stop taking calls before noon. Money-making activity time, getting new prospects, getting new appointments, getting new leads happens before noon every single day. I promise you, if you wake up every single day and check your email, check your voicemail, and in the case of the phone, it's going to screw up the rest of your day because there's always some fire, some urgency that's on that voicemail that will distract you for the rest of the day. And as an entrepreneurial idiot, which you and I are, uh, you can't have that, so nothing before noon. Become unavailable. Second rule of thumb when it comes to controlling the phone is you need to have two time slots a day where you take and return phone calls, and you need to let your people know. On your voicemail, let them know, look, I, I, I returned your call between noon and 1 or between 5 and 6. you got two slots daily to do that. If you open up your phone all day, every day to everyone, all right, it's going to be a distraction and you won't do your money making activity, which means marketing and generating new business. Third rule of thumb, three hours every single day. So you got a couple of time slots to fit three hours in, but I don't want you on the phone for more than three hours every single day. If you do that, again, too much distraction, too little work being done. Most of those phone calls, quite honestly, are $4 an hour types of things that anybody can do. I've analyzed this for clients for years and years and years and it never changes. They're on the phone with people that aren't getting them closer to their goals and not making them any money, which means at the end of the day they're frustrated. So you got three hours a day. And then I would also tell you this, if you're going to really control your phone, especially with prospects, make them jump through a few hoops. And what I mean by that is what would you ask your prospect to do to, to determine if they're a part of the 15% that are worthy of your time or the 85% that are not worthy of your time? What would they have to do? I have a real estate agent with thousands of real estate agents as clients over the years, and a lot of them will, you know, if they're working with a buyer, they'll make their buyer talk to a mortgage person before they talk to them. They'll make them come into the office before they talk to them. I mean, they have some hoops that they uh, typically make their prospects jump through. Three hoops is always a good idea to make sure they're a part of the 15% that actually can do something with you. So three hoops, three hours a day, a couple of time slots every day, and this is probably the biggest one. Nothing before noon. Use your morning to make money, generate leads, work on your marketing. That's the best way to control your phone and the best way to get yourself to the next level.